16th May 2023 Morning Murli Aum Shanti Bhattada Madhupan Sweet children, in order to make Bharat into heaven, have loving intellects at the time of destruction and promise to remain pure. This is how you help the father. Question what is the main basis of learning the spiritual tree of the power of yoga? Answer. In order to do this tree, you have to break your intellect's yoga away from everyone else. Break away from everyone else and connect your cells to the one father. Only when you have true love for the one can you perform the spiritual deal? This is the power of yoga with which you claim a kingdom of the world for 21 births. Song No one is unique like the innocent Lord. Om Shanti Your children heard the song. Whom did it praise? Shri Baba, the innocent Lord, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is also called the Innocent Lord, the Knowledgeful One and the Purifier. He is called the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. A physical father would not be called the Supreme Father. Only the One Supreme Soul is always called the Supreme Father. The Soul praises His Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. The Soul says He is the One who protects the devotees, that is, he is the one who once again gives devotees the fruit of their devotion. What fruit would God give his devotees? God comes and gives the fruit of liberation and salvation. You receive liberation in the land of Nirvana, that is called the incorporeal world. Souls are incorporeal. This incorporeal soul has received this corporeal body. For what? In order to play a part on the field of action. Now, while playing our parts on the field of action, Bharat, that was like a diamond, heaven, and the highest, purest land of all, has become impure and worth a shell. The father explains to your children, the secrets of the beginning, the middle, and the end of the world. In the beginning, there is the kingdom of deities, and then, in the middle, the kingdom of Ravan begins. The deities go out of the path of sin. Bharat was pure, and it is now impure. This too has to be explained. It is only the one Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who purifies this impure world and the devotees remember him. Devotees are impure. After the father comes and purifies everyone, no devotee remains, nor does anyone call out. In the golden age, when it was the kingdom of deities, no one remembered God. Bharat was a land of happiness. It isn't that the land of Islam or the land of Buddhists was heaven. Bharat itself was heaven when the original eternal deities ruled. When it was the kingdom of deities, there wasn't the kingdom of warriors who sits and explains all of this. Knowledgeful God, the Father, He is the truth and the living being. The soul is also the truth and a living being. This body is not living and the soul makes it function. In the golden age, there was just the one deity religion and there were very few of them. The three then continued to grow. The knowledge of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world is not in any of the scriptures. All of that is the paraphernalia of the path of devotion. They say, O oh, pure fire, come. Bapu Gandhiji also wanted the kingdom of Ram. He held the Gita in his hand 
because it was through the knowledge of the Gita that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, made Bharat into heaven. It was the kingdom of the world, almighty authority. You were the masters of the world, and so it must definitely have been the master of the world who made you that. Shubhava says, I did come. You celebrate the birth of Shiv. Do you not? It is a matter of 5,000 years. It is written in the Gita, God speaks, because the people of Bharat are Tamapradhan. They do not know God. God is the highest on high. He is the creator, even of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. Incorporal Godship does not have a body of his own. Because Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar have subtle bodies. They are called deities. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul himself says, I am the creator. All of these are my children. In the form of souls, all of you are brothers. It isn't that all of you are fathers. Like the sannyasis say, that each soul is the supreme soul. No, God is the supreme soul. The part of God and the drama is separate. He is the creator, director and Karan Karavanhar. He inspires the establishment of the original eternal deity religion once again through Brahma. He adopts the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. You Malpun creation are called the adoption. You are the Malpun creation of Brahma. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul came and taught you Brahma Kumars and Kamaris. You are now studying Raj Yoga. It isn't that each soul is the Supreme Soul. All of this five to six billion souls are immortal. This drama is very big. Never knows the secrets of the drama. The father sits here and explains, I come at the confluence age of every cycle. I enter an ordinary body. This one didn't know his own boats. I tell him about them. I enter him. I have named him Prajapita Brahma. I have to come into the impure world. This is this one's final boat. He has completed his 84 boats. This Brahma and Saraswati will become Lakshmi and Narayan. People don't know who Saraswati is. Saraswati should not be called a goddess. The name of the mouthbone daughter of Brahma is Jagadamba Saraswati. At the confluence age, she is called Jagadamba Kamdhenu. This one means Brahma is called Adidev, Mahavir. He is also called Dilwala. In fact, it is Chubhava who is Dilwala. He is the one who comes to win the children's hearts and give them soul sovereignty. Children say, Baba, make us constantly happy once again. So Shubhava enters the body of Pramha and wins your hearts. He is teaching you. This is why the beautiful memorial of the Dilwala temple has been created, that is a non-living temple. You made Bharat into heaven 5000 years ago and that temple is a memorial of that. You are once again doing service and those non-living temples will once again be demolished. The father says, I enter an old, impure body every cycle to purify you. No one is pure here. There are now innumerable religions, but the original eternal deity religion doesn't exist. Those of the deity religion call themselves Hindus. The deity religion has disappeared. Deities were completely pure. From the time they went onto the path of sin, they were no longer called deities. The deity religion had to disappear. It is only then that I first established the deity religion. Those of Islam and the Buddhist come later. When was the Hindu religion established? 
the original and eternal ones are the deities so the innocent lord shababa is explaining to you innocent daughters and feeling your aprons and making you into the masters of heaven he is a very innocent businessman when a person dies all of his old belongings are given to a kartnik hor means brahman priest the father says i take all your old rubbish and make you into the masters of heaven you were residents of shivalaya shiv established the golden age it has now become a brothel and now making it into shivalaya once again I explain the secrets of the clans to your children you have content to take rebuild and the clans have content to change people speak of 8.4 million birds the father complains you say of yourself that you take 8.4 million birds instead of 84 birds however you say of me that i am omnipresent and that i am everywhere you look i am not omnipresent at this time it is the five vices that are omnipresent they didn't exist in the golden age the deities used to exist there they have now become devils they are once again being made into deities from devils therefore the father explains the highest on high is god and then there are his creation brahma vishnu and shankar this is the corporeal world in which there is first the kingdom of deities then the kingdom of warriors then merchants and then the kingdom of shudra now there is no kingdom this is the rule of the people over the people there was a righteous religion in the golden age they never caused one another sorrow there is great praise of parat but they have written wrong things in the scriptures and lost its praise the yoga and knowledge of ancient bharat are very well known who taught it shrimat r the words of god krishna didn't speak them the father sits here and explains i too have it in my part to come here i do not enter the cycle of birth and death i am the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of happiness this is not the praise of anyone else the praise of the deities is separate each actor has his own part there is a praise according to that part you know that the highest on high is incorporeal god the father a physical father would not be called god the father he is a limited father whereas this one is the unlimited father everyone calls out oh supreme father supreme soul the belief that when the father comes he will take them to the land of happiness the father says i even uplift seniors at sinful as ajamal and also the sages through you mothers you are the shiv shaktis the mothers of bharat you are doing everything with the power of yoga those kumaris and mothers learn violent drill here this is the drill of the power of yoga you are following shrimat you remove your love from everyone in the old world and connect it to the one father karvas are those who have non loving intellect at the time of destruction whereas you pandavas have loving intellect at the time of destruction you make part into heaven you promise the father baba i will remain pure and help you make part pure because there is not to be defeat for the land of death and victory for the land of immortality the father is telling you the story of immortality you are parvati's bride you are claiming your inheritance from the father he says become as beautiful as brides you become emperors and empresses the father sits here and explains all of the secrets the father alone is the knowledgeful 
creator and director. Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are the creation and this is why it is said Trimurti Shiv. Those people speak of Trimurti Brahma. They forget Trimurti Shiv who creates all three. By forgetting Shibaba, they have become a taste. They say, Oh God, the Father, but they don't know his occupation. Maya makes everyone into an atheist, and I then come and make you into taste. Because of forgetting the Father, they continue to fight and quarrel among themselves. The Father explains, This part was the master of the world. There were no partitions. You are the masters of the earth, sea, sky, air, etc. There are now so many partitions. There is so much war over so and so should not cross this boundary. Bharat was the master of the unlimited. It was like a diamond. It has now become the master of the limited world or shell. This is the drama and each soul has received his own part. Some have received a part of 84 births and others have received a part of two or three births. This is an immortal drama that continues to repeat. There is no land as pure as Bharat was. When a home becomes old, it is repaired. Bharat itself goes on the path of sin and so there is the path of renunciation to support it a little. Even that has now become Tamaprathan. All have become old and they will now become new again. There isn't any pleasure in this old home. The father says, I have to come to make you Satapradhan. I, myself, come and make Parat liberated in life. I give all the rest of the soul's liberation. The father explains, children, this is your final birth. You are now becoming the masters of heaven. It is such a great atonement. You became the masters of the pure world for 21 births. You were elevated souls, the masters of heaven. Maya made you into sinful souls. Baba has come and is once again making you into charitable souls. He enables you to settle all your karmic accounts and will take you back home. Baba, the innocent Lord, is also the liberator. He says, I sent you to the land of liberation and life. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is the sweetest of all. This is why everyone remembers him. Baba, the innocent Lord, makes birth into heaven through your mothers and the memorial of that is the Dilwara temple. You know the occupation of each one, half everyone has a part in the drama and how many rebirths each one takes. The Pandavas were in Kanto, whereas the Yadavas and the Karavas were known. You are the incognito, non-violent Shiv Shakti army and you are becoming the masters of the world for 21 births. Therefore, you definitely do have to make effort. You also have to follow Srimad at every step. As soon as you forget to have remembrance of Baba, a bomb of Maya is dropped on you. This is why you have to remember your father and have the faith that you are souls. Death is just ahead of you. The burden of sin is very heavy. For as long as you live, you have to make effort. Don't remember anything else. You don't have to come back to this land of death. The world is now changing. The Yadavas and the Karvas destroyed their own clan and the Pandavas claimed their kingdom. However, the Pandavas now belong to the father. Rivers of blood will flow here. How else would the old world be destroyed. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, 
the father but dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point became non violent instruments to benefit everyone by performing the drill of the power of yoga second point make a true bargain with the father the innocent lord gave him all your old rubbish and claim your fortune of the kingdom of heaven break your love away from the old world and connect it to the one father blessing may you attain victory over everything with the intention of changing yourself and become an instrument of success explanation in the field of service have the aim of walking in harmony with everyone when you have the intention of changing yourself you can easily be victorious in everything those who look at others to change or thinking that others should change are defeated this is why it is said i have to change i have to do this put yourself first in every situation without arrogance put yourself in front of everyone in doing something and you will have success after success those who know how to mold themselves became real gold slogan just as light is merged in the eyes in the same way let the remembrance of shiv the bridegroom be merged in your intellect um shanti